spot on Dave Clark. Two times world champion against a three times world champion. And for the loser, the end of the Grand Slam road, you would think. Uh, both will feel they should have won their opening games against O'Shea and Anderson. But as we know, especially over a short format, ifs and buts, coulds and shoulds count for nothing. It's all on the next 20, 25 minutes for John Part and Adrian Lewis. It really is. And this man on your screen twice and reigning world champ. First now, leg, John he's got to show first. that form. Game because one. otherwise, we're not going to beat this man. So he knows how to win dark matches. The master at winning scrappy matches. 97. Lewis will be hoping this is not a scrappy affair. Well, that first dart is, that's for sure. The next two, spot on from Adrian Lewis. They both look fired up, they, they, they have to be. They really do. This is this is a big, big game in the context of the Grand Slam. And you know, Adrian Lewis has, until last year, really struggled with this format. Three times failing to get out the group, Wayne. Because we know he got to the semis of Lotta Taylor 12 months ago, but he doesn't like this format. I just think with Adrian, something special is going to happen 59. at any moment. If the last two visits or anything to go by, he was struggling to find the right weight. The first two visits he was below, then he was 59. two inches too high with the first dart of that visit. It's all about the weight. He's clearly got the line, not put a dart straight. The thing is with 80, we're all expecting 140s, 180s. 100. Got to win ugly every now and again. Run, man, run! Do not stay there. That's buffoonery. Move, man. 87. Well, you you shouted loud enough that he heard you, but absolutely. Absolutely. John Park. How many times have we seen Park take out a big shot like this? Lewis will come back on 1 125. Adrian, you require 126. Treble 19. Another treble 19. Double six. Takes his time. 140. Clearly wasn't happy Junior with the release. 36. Chance. For party. Game shot in the first leg. Huge Jump hold. Second leg to throw first. Adrian Lewis had his chance. Now that's the perfect dart. But again, loses it, doesn't it? Just loses, the, loses the line. And you know, it's been. It's been a mixed year. We've seen a mixed bag from the world champion. World, world Grand Prix second round. 43. European Championship first round. World match play quarterfinals. UK Open last 32. It, it, it's been a real bugbear of Adrian Lewis that 123. he's won two world titles, which you know most professionals would would settle for, but he hasn't won another big major event. In the middle of the year, he, he won the, uh, the German Darts Masters, which is a huge event. And I remember 96. talking to him a couple of days after, and he said, I just feel like it's all coming together. And within a couple of weeks, he'd kind of let himself down again. And his form comes and goes 96. day by day, week by week. You'd certainly know how good he can be. Got to turn it on. 97. Well, Lewis's last game will be against Gary Anderson, and it may well be the world champ has got to, got to win both of these to get through. 140. Adrian, you require 100. 60. Got to be tops, tops. 60. John, you require 122. Now then. What a moment this would be. Yes. Park's going to get one dart. Oh, he's not. He's not. He's missed the big 18. Well, well, well. He should have 64. just, surely, should have just gone for the 74. big 18. Surely, well. Hey, that, that's 40. just being too aggressive. That's being too aggressive going for the 54 to leave double seven. You've got to make sure, you've got to make sure you get a dart at that bullseye. 
Doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter. Well, the world champion is in a world of bother. Double eight for the Canadian. World champs showing frailty. Early nerves. You've won the biggest of them all, boys. No score. John, you require eight. Well, Adrian Lewis and John Park. Well, he thought that was in. It's awkward. He's, he's darted himself. He's got to move over to the left. What's a dart? You see the camera shot there. What an angle that dart has gone in. The only way to get it was move three foot to the left. Bang. 2 0. Well, you, you called it right at the start. It's all about winning. And if you win ugly, it doesn't matter. You've got one world champion, this man averaging 81, and the other, John Parr, averaging 80. Those numbers do 59. not matter on a night like this with so much at stake. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Forty. Four visit. Again, just not finding the weight with the first start, Stu. Got to stay 80. in 60's first start. For, for one, it's the score and it's the confidence. I mean, missed doubles galore from both of them, and it was missed doubles that cost Adrian Lewis dear in his first match 55. against Tony O'Shea, and also cost John Parr, who missed two darts, to beat Gary Anderson 5 3 before losing 60. 5 4. And such is the difference in these group stages, especially when it's such a strong group. Really is a lot of tension up there. Meadie was berating 61. himself. John Parr, unfortunate. We've got to jump on that. Treble 20. Well, he would want it another because then he could have switched. First 140 of this match from Adrian Lewis. Incredible. That is what John Park has done for the last 20 years. Treble 19's galore. In his pump. 55. He would John batter Nicole, you with them. 111. He would make you submit to his superiority on the 57s. Well, it just goes to show. I was watching Adrian Lewis for a little while 51. in the practice room. Adrian, you and he was throwing beautifully. Totally different player. He's averaging 59. 79.6. Can't, can't do anything right. The pressure of the situation. Tops for 3 0. Double 10. It's a big dart. 50. Adrian, you require 48. Gotta go, AD. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble, son. Massive double, not only has he won the leg, he's leg broken Adrian back and he's seen his opponent miss two darts for a 3-0 lead. Wow, that was important. When you're not on, the, on your very, very A game and you're used to playing so well, which AD, AD Lewis is, um, it's just not happening. You, you try too hard and you, you look for things that to, to improve within seconds, 59. within from one dart to the next, and sometimes it does not work. But he's hanging in there. Well, that's how important this match is. Of course, Easy we'll see one. Gary Anderson and Tony O'Shea later on, and those two, knowing that a win, will almost certainly guarantee them a spot in the knockout stages. Uh, two world champions here, very much playing catch -up. Why is it? Can, just, just explain. Why is it that they can they can play brilliantly? 96. Five minutes later, they come up on the stage, and, and it just doesn't happen. It's the same old thing when it means nothing. It's so simple. And the, the great adage or analogy is 60. play like it means nothing when it means everything. That is so, so true. Pressure. But it's so, so hard to do. Exactly, that's what it is. 
it's just interesting to know, especially after watching 100. Adrian Lewis, as I say, only 15, 20 minutes ago, Wayne, and he, it, it, he just made it look so easy. And now it's just so very, very hard for both players. Easy, Adrian, you require 167. Treble 20. It's two big trebles to set this up. 29. A nightmare visit. John Park can step in here. Well, really is a case of for the victor, the spoils, because they stay in the tournament. 138. A Keith Della special. Not this time, but he sets it up beautifully. This would be a killer, Stu. Well, it would, because it would break straight back. It would. Oh, it gives it. He's going to give them the advantage here. Double 18. 17. Oh, Adrian, you require 16. How close? How close indeed. Through that very quick for my liking. Double four. Double two. In the corner, but he won't care. It's two legs all. Somehow, it's two legs all. Well, Adrian Lewis saying sorry. Five. What is all that about? Well, exactly. Five world titles between them, and they're both averaging 76. 60. And that is all about what the pressure is doing to both players. That was very strange, wasn't it? To apologise for, for winning a leg. Apologising for the double that you wanted. What's going on, AD? I think they both know, don't they? I mean, the classic case of winning ugly for one 96. of these players tonight. That is a perfect marker. He's been unfortunate with the second dart there. Used the marker, but unfortunately, it just caught the flight. Dipped down, obscured the treble, went down and hit a 57. Good cover shooting. 58. This, at the moment, is looking like a, a moment of genius is going to take it because it's been such a mediocre game. 93. Yeah. Well, one moment of magic, and that, that's, that's literally what might win this match. Part will have to switch. 96. Decent darts from the Canadian. Part's had a disappointing year, I have to say. He's got himself back in the world's top 32, and... 60. Has missed a, a raft of TV tournaments this year. So he's under pressure. Still such a great competitor, John Park. He loves winning darts matches. 159. And with darts like that, he looks like winning this leg. Is that the magic moment? 134. Brilliant response from Lewis. Now, 32. Then, now then, best two visits of the match so far. It's a great camera shot. Showed you exactly the way that John Park was going. Three, two, it is. Lady throwing the first start there. 134. Before John Park has even passed him. That's his second one, three, four on the trot. 140. John Park is without doubt. Holding all the aces at the moment. 96. Li livened up, Stu. They're hitting trebles galore now. All of a sudden. 90. Job part, hold your throw and you win the match. But in the context 30. of this game, with that, you just see there with that visit, uh, anything could happen. You just can't call this, can you? 57. It's too close to call who will be victorious. Well, that's what they were saying last week, isn't it? But this isn't a Barber and Romney, this is Part and Lewis. Five world titles between them, both averaging in the 70s. 78. I may dust my darts off yet. If he hits a 57 here, you may see him go for the bullseye. Well, he did, 82. I can assure you. Would have left 170. Good counting by John Park. Well, John Park 
probably is the best counter, isn't he, in, in world darts. 100. Well, Lewis should make it 3 all. So he should. He's missed 19 dart, uh, nine darts 100. at doubles so far. You you, you're right, first time they've, they've missed 19 darts at doubles between them. 20, 21 and counting. No score. They're not bad darts. John, they really are 19. not. They were three well-thrown darts, just never went in. How's your luck, AD? Brilliant dart, John Part. Double ten. Eighty. Well, has he blown his chance? Adrian, you he would have been 36. throwing for the match in the next leg. Great marker. Got to go in. Got to go this time, AD. Eighty. John, you required ten. He's missed six darts at double eighteen. Double five. One solitary bead of sweat running down John Part's face. The pressure James is Charles telling. John Part. What a double two that could turn Seven out to be. To Adrian Lewis Game on. is in severe trouble. Yeah. The reigning world champion has got to win three legs on the spin. 96. If he wants, presumably, to stay in the Grand Slam. Two out of two defeats in the group stages, and he would need 134. Well, certainly true in this match. Lewis has missed 15 darts at double. John Hart has missed 13 darts at double. And that's, by my maths, 28 darts missed at double in six legs, way. Yeah, the doubling has not been good, but I don't want to lay into them too much because they've, they've won a lot more than I have ever done. But the scoring hasn't been there either. They're, they're, nothing has gone right for the pair of them. But there had to be 100. a winner somewhere along the line. And 12%, Hades got to... He's got to pull this round first off, but even if he wins this match, he's got to sort his game out. He's so, so good. Here we are in the seventh leg of the match. Lewis has one score, one solitary visit. 92, Adrian, you're going the entire game. Who would have believed that? Got to get a treble. 100. And does. Great last start. For the match, and to send Adrian Lewis a pack in. Tops he needs. 93. Well, that's Adrian two matches running now. John Park has had darts to win. He missed against Gary Anderson. Will he get another chance? Nine. He will. He will have three clear darts at double 20. 10 for the match. And to keep his hopes alive. Game. And he pins Jump. it. And Jump Jump Park Jump beats Park. the twice and reigning world champ, Adrian Lewis, who's out. Adrian Lewis is going home. Coming up, we have Brendan Dolan, the Very history. Strappy. Both averaged in the 70s. But it was John Park who survives in this group. He's got Tony O'Shea next in Group E, and this is how it stands. Three players on two points, Gary Anderson, Tony O'Shea, and John Parr. Adrian Lewis in trouble, big, big trouble. John, you, your thoughts on that? It wasn't a classic, but a 5-2 win, you'll take that. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to still have a chance in the tournament to go forward and get to the longer format, and maybe where I might feel more comfortable. Definitely, this group, uh, from the minute was drawn, I can look at it and you think, well, I'm under pressure, but I also, with my experience, know everyone else feels the same. And I think it, it showed with playing Gary. He wasn't at his best uh, in a lot of aspects, and uh, definitely here with 80. Uh, I mean, I think we're all just a bit trying too hard to get that big shot every single time, and that doesn't help. Even after all you've done in the game, do you still feel the pressure of, you know, this round-robin stage? Well, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's embarrassing when you, when you don't play as well as you want to play. I mean, primarily you're trying to win a match, yes, but... Both Eddie and I there, we're struggling along, some just mundane scoring there. We're both getting a little embarrassed, to be honest. That's just how it goes. And 
and whether you win a leg or not, you still feel a little bit sheepish. So it's hard to get into the next leg very aggressively because you just sort of, it, there, there's a lot of respect between us as well. So it, it was difficult to suffer from being my perspective and also as a friend of Adrian, I don't like to see that. And he didn't like seeing me play not so great, but uh, you know, in the end I, I got the win. And he's probably, he's, he is the double world champion and current world champion. He can, if anyone can get out of the hole he's in, he can. Like difference is going to be crucial as well, isn't it? It's a, it's a good 5-2 is a good result for you at that score. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I don't even know how I won 5-2 there, but um, it, it does make a big difference, uh, potential tie breaks. Um, I, hopefully, uh, you know, I haven't had a lot of luck this year. I had a lot of luck tonight. <laughs> I've had a lot of luck this week that I'm in the position I'm in now. So what I have to do is convert that into playing well and take advantage, and, and that's what I aim to do. You have to play well against Tony O'Shea. Good player. Showed a bit of form in this tournament. Of course, and uh, I think I could feed off it uh, a little better. You know, I think you see the guy throw well ahead of you. Somehow you just forget about the nerves, and you know you had a job to do, and you get on with it. And I think that's, that's where Eddie and I struggled tonight. Neither one of us showed anything. <laughs> you want to be showing form this summer year. World Championship yeah. just around the corner. Adrian's got to be disappointed, really disappointed, defending his title. Well, I think, yeah, a little bit. He, he has a busy schedule, great player. He defended the title. He's never lost in a final in a world championship. And uh, I think as long as he performs uh, next month, he'll be happy enough. Okay, we'll see you in a couple of days. Well done, John Park. Yeah, cheers.